Well, today is an exciting day. We are in the temporary CMS HQ. This is Lucas's new condo. And for those of you that have been following our moving series, you know that we were in his old condo shooting a couple videos talking about how to get prepped for a sale and a move. Well, here we are in his new space, so clearly our hard work paid off. And today we're going to go through this new space and do what I call a move-in cleaning. So let's get to it. A couple of things to keep in mind as we go through this video. First of all, we're in a condo, which is perfect because we can literally snake our way around the condo and work in a circle. That way we'll get everything cleaned in one fell swoop. Secondly, I'm gonna review some things in this particular area, the front hallway, that will apply to every area in the home. Whenever you're doing a cleaning, you always wanna work from the top to the bottom. That's the direction that dust falls. So in a space like this, a hallway, a common area, a room, you always want to start right up there. You can dust the light fixture. Then you want to tackle these areas over here where the ceiling meets the wall. There's often a lot of cobwebs and dust that build up over time. Then you want to come down the wall. You're going to see door frames like this. No one ever cleans up here, so it's a perfect opportunity to get the top and the sides of the door framed clean. You also want to give any points of contact, so locks, handles, light switches, anything like that, you want to clean and disinfect those. Finishing things off in a space is giving the baseboards a nice cleaning. If they're not too, too bad, you can just use a broom or a flathead mop to do your baseboards. If you really need some work, you can wipe them down with a cloth sprayed with all-purpose cleaner. I'm here in one of Lucas's new bathrooms, and it's not that new because somebody else was using it before he's going to be using it. And that's often a concern for a lot of people. Kitchen and bathroom, usually the most squeamish places. And that's why it's so important to give it a good, thorough cleaning. You'll notice an ongoing theme. I'm always going to work my way from the top to the bottom. So in the bathroom, we're going to start with any light fixtures and overhead exhaust fans, which by the way is going off as I speak. What you're going to do is take a vacuum with a vacuum brush attachment, make sure your light is off. You're gonna give a quick vacuum to make sure you get all the dust and cobwebs off and then you'll do the exact same thing for the overhead fan. Moving right along, we'll cover off the mirror. It's obviously a great opportunity to give that a clean. Then we're going to tackle the sink and you wanna treat this with a good heavy duty cleaner. Make sure you get everything nice and clean. Consider giving the drain a clean as well if you notice any odd smells or if it's not draining properly. Good opportunity to clean the faucet. And if you notice any mold or mildew, you can treat that with a mold or mildew cleaner. Leave it for 24 hours. Hours, scrub it off and it should be good. Finish this area off by spraying the interior of the cupboards and drawers, letting that sit for about five minutes or so, and then giving it a good wipe. Right over here, we have the toilet and the tub. Very important areas that need some TLC. You wanna start by spraying your toilet down and giving it a wipe cleaning the bowl, cleaning the area around the toilet because you never know what's going on around there. And you might even want to consider just buying a new toilet seat altogether. When it comes to cleaning the tub and shower, give it a good spray with a tub and tile cleaner. Let it sit, scrub it, rinse it. Really make sure it's nice and clean and free of soap scum. You can do the same thing with those drains. Check them, make sure they're draining properly. Your laundry room is another important area to clean in here. Clearly we have a laundry closet. Either way, this needs a little bit of attention. For example, if you look at the rubber gasket here, it is brown. I don't know what was going on in there, but that needs to be cleaned. Also make sure that you empty your lint trap. You never know what the people left behind. You can even pull it out and give it a good vacuum to make sure you get rid of all that extra lint. I would also recommend cleaning the exterior of the appliance as well. So giving it a good wipe down, including your points of contact, the top, the side, you, you, you always find this detergent, you know, and stuff dripping down the side. You really wanna make sure that it's in good tip top shape. Welcome to the master bedroom. And as you can tell, there's quite an echo in here because they're waiting for their new floor. So we're not gonna spend too much time in here, but remember, we've already talked about how to clean all of the general areas in the bedroom anyway. 
So the one thing the bedroom has that a lot of other places don't is a closet. Now this one happens to have a walk-in closet. Closets are really important to clean out. They harbor so much dust and we rarely empty them all out. So this is a great opportunity to dust not only the ceilings and the corners, but also any of the shelves, the undersides of the shelves, and those little tiny corners at the ends of your closet. The baseboards get super, super dusty and the floors. So in a condo, your living room, dining room, den, office, media room, basement, all get condensed into one space and that's where we are right now. So we'll start over here with the windows and having a step ladder is really important for safe and effective window cleaning. When it comes to cleaning your windows, we've talked about how to do this a million times, so I'll link videos for you down below. The thing you want to really keep in mind is to also clean the frames because that often doesn't happen. And clearly, he bought a place with a beautiful view, so you want to see what's going on out there. You also want to remember to give your window coverings a good cleaning. So that includes the top valance, as well as treating your window covering the way it needs to be cleaned. Now, we do have videos on that as well, but since I'm here, when you have a window treatment like this, you want to pull each panel out, take a cloth, spray it with a little bit of all-purpose cleaner, and wipe it from the top all the way to the bottom. Just take a peek up there for a sec and you'll see a vent. We've got them all over the condo. It's a really important time for you just to take a moment, take your vacuum attachment and give those a quick cleaning. You never know when the last time they were cleaned and it really helps keep the air fresh in a home. And if you follow me over here, this is the air return vent. And the reason it's so important to make sure this is clean and that you change the filter is because you never know if there were pets or smokers in the house before. And obviously, once you move in, you want a clean slate. That's a great way to get it. And while you're here, you can give us a quick wipe down too. We're in one of my most favorite places in a home, the kitchen. And I would like to know, if you could only have your kitchen or your bathroom clean, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. Arguments begin. When you're thoroughly cleaning a kitchen, you've got a lot of components that are very similar, namely cupboards and drawers, backsplash, and counters. So when we're doing that, we want to make sure that we're cleaning the exterior. I can see grease splatters, fingerprints, and we also want to clean the handles, which are points of contact. And I've got recipes on what to use for this, and I'll link that down below. Depending on your kitchen setup, you might have a microwave that sits above your oven, which will act as your exhaust or you will have just an exhaust fan sitting above your oven. Either way, that area needs to be cleaned. It's often really greasy, so you want to treat it with a strong degreaser. We've got recipes for that down below. Let it sit, scrub it off, and rinse it. This is a flat cooktop, so it's a little bit easier to clean. You want to scrub it down with a cleaner that won't scratch it, but will obviously lift off any of that gunk. If you have an oven with the coils, you can pull those off, clean the drip pans and the oven area really well with a heavy duty cleaner. Make sure that you clean the interior of your oven. This one's actually in really good shape, but you can set it to self clean. Make sure you remove all of the oven racks. We actually have videos on how to do that down below as well as a blog post on how to clean your oven if it is non self cleaning. I didn't forget about the microwave. We have a video on how to clean it. I'll link that down below. Over here, we've got this general area, the backsplash and the counter. Obviously, you're gonna see that throughout the kitchen. Quite simple to clean. You just wanna use a heavy duty cleaner and take into consideration the type of material that it is. Obviously, if it's natural stone, you don't wanna use anything that could potentially ruin the finish. So find something that's gentle. We have all of our recipes. I will link those down below for you, but make sure you give it a nice thorough cleaning. This ongoing theme of we have a video for it is indeed true, but we do have a video on how to clean your kitchen sink. It's really important that you get it nice and squeaky clean. This is an important place in your kitchen. Over here is another really important place in your kitchen, the fridge. And this one happens to be in pretty fantastic shape right now. But that being said, you wanna make sure the top of the fridge is cleaned, the gasket, which is that little rubber area, you wanna make sure that's cleaned as well. You wanna make sure your freezer is cleaned. We've got a video on how to do this, so don't you worry, I'm gonna link that down below for you too, but the fridge definitely needs some TLC. Once you're done all of this cleaning, then you wanna tackle the floors all at once. 
So you wanna make sure that you vacuum or sweep first and you mop second. The other thing I wanna to touch on quickly is the timing of your cleaning. If you're doing any renovations like Lucas and his wife are doing in here, you don't wanna clean before the renos. You wanna get all the dirt from the renos, from the move, let all of that fall to the floor and do one big cleaning before you move in. So technically, the cleaning should happen right before the boxes get there. I hope that you guys are excited to see the next chapter for Lucas and his wife and what their condo will look like when it's all said and done. And I hope any of you who are going through a move have a really good understanding of what you need to do to clean and get your space ready. I've got so many great comments from you guys already and I'm really excited to see how this video will help you. The comment question this week is, and I've already mentioned it, but I'll ask it again. If you could only have one space cleaned, would it be the kitchen or would it be the bathroom? Let me know in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. I am at Melissa Maker. You can see what I'm up to aside from, you know, cleaning. The guy who's been tracking around this whole condo, he is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're going to love. And it makes the most sense for me to throw you to the other moving series videos that we've done so far. The first one is how to prepare for a sale. And the second one is how to stay clean during staging. I hope you guys find them helpful. Links will be down below. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Melissa Maker, at the Chad Reynolds, at the, at the clean, clean my space. And as always, we will see you next week. Thanks guys.